High Temperature Gas Cooled Reactor, HTR, is an advanced reactor with Generation 4 reactor features and with completely independent intellectual property rights of China. Its inherent safety, high efficiency, simplified systems and wide applications have been attracting internationally extensive attention. In 2006, the HTR Nuclear Power Demonstration Project has been listed as one of the national major science and technology special projects. And on December 9, 2012, the de demonstration project has achieved the first concrete placement. For the industrialization of HTR technology, China Nuclear Engineering Group Corporation, CNEC, with partners, have been undertaking the tasks of scientific projects, engineering research and demonstration project investment and construction and vigorously promoting the advanced nuclear technology with completely independent intellectual property rights of China through actively implementing the nuclear power and long-term development plan CNEC is maintaining our leading position in the field and promoting the development of China's nuclear power towards the direction of inherent safety. The HTR nuclear power consists of two reactors, two steam generators, one turbine generator, and some other auxiliary system. It uses spherical fuel cell elements and graphite as moderator and helium as coolant. When the reactor core runs, the heat generated by the fission has been removed by the helium. Then, high temperature helium follows into the steam generator via the hot gas duct in which the heat is transferred from helium to the secondary water for producing the superheated steam. So as to drive the turbine generator to produce electricity, the cooled helium is pressurized by the helium circulator and then returned to the reactor core to prepare for the next circulation. During the operation of the reactor, fuel elements are unloaded from the bottom of the reactor core to the discharge tube and then are taken into the burn-up monitoring positioner to measure the burn-up level. Those that are not reaching the specified burn-up level are sent back to the reactor core. Otherwise, they are sent to the spent fuel storage tank. In this way, continuing fueling without shutdown is accomplished. The most impressive feature of HTR is that it can make full use of high-performance fuel elements and a large negative temperature coefficient so as to achieve inherent safety, thus eliminating the possibility of severe radiation accident. Trisyl-coated particle fuel elements are composed of UO2 kernel, low-density PYC layer, SIC layer, and two high-density PYC layers. The compound loaded form a very small spherical pressure vessel, which is able to retain the radioactivity of fission products at temperatures no more than 1,620 degrees Celsius. Comparing with the present PWR, HTR behaves totally differently in severe accidents. In the case of loss of coolant, the reactor can enter into a hot shutdown condition only with a negative coefficient and a large safety margin on the temperature rise. The maximal temperature of fuel elements never exceed the safety limit under any circumstances, so as to avoid core damages and large radioactive movements. HTR uses passive residual heat removal system, which will transfer the residual heat to the water-cooled system by heat conduction, radiation, and free convection, then by the natural circulation of water to the air cooler, where the heat is diffused into the atmosphere through heat exchange with the air. Based on the significant improvement of the safety level of HDR by using inherent safety features and passive safety systems, an essential design objectively clearly addressed in the safety review principles by the National Nuclear Security Administration of China is that the need for external intervention measures may be limited or even eliminated in technical terms. Although such measures may still have to be required by national authorities, that means, technically, off-site emergency of HTR could be eliminated. Besides, there is also a great simplification in the system design. Several engineered safety features of PWR nuclear power plant are cancelled, 
such as the safety injection system and the emergency core cooling system. What's more, because of its lower power of a single reactor, it can also reduce the initial investment to meet the demand of different markets by combinations of multiple modules to gradually expand capability. For instance, 200 milliwatt, 300 milliwatt, 600 milliwatt, and 1,000 milliwatt. Based on the standardized and series production of the device, the construction time will be greatly shortened. The supercritical steam power generation efficiency can reach 45%. By the helium turbine combined cycle, the efficiency can reach more than 50%. As an advanced type of reactor, the helium outlet temperature of thousands of Celsius degrees not only improves the power generation efficiency, but also supports a variety of industrial applications. For example, it can supply high parameter steam for oil refining, chemical, thermal recovery of heavy oil fields, the helium, whose outlet temperature is 950 to 1000 degrees Celsius, can be used for high temperature water splitting hydrogen production, which will play an active role in the hydrogen energy era. The development of nuclear powered industry requires an advanced technology, which is safer, more environmentally friendly, of higher efficiency and wider applications. The development of HTR nuclear power technology will significantly contribute to the global energy, climate, and safety.